I'm a, a graffiti teacher at the Spinneriet Urban Art Course at Glokala Folkeskola. It's quite practical. We we have a lot of uh, sketching and uh, like it's based because I'm 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 one part of the the team. We're two teachers and we we work a little bit different. My my colleague is more. Uh, for the conceptual art and want to teach out like te- teach the the students a, a broader way of looking at street art while my 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 concept of of the street art is more graffiti and murals so uh, my way of working is more in, in projects how uh, and it's like we do each each uh, moment as a, a project where we do the sketching we have the 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 discussion with the, the clients of what we could do with their walls and then we produce the, 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 the sketching and then we do the wall. So it's like small projects all the way. And we work with a different kind of uh, organization. It could be schools, it could be real estate owners, it, it depends. Now, recent, recently we, we made this uh, collaboration with a kindergarten close by because here in Sweden it's not that common that you paint the kindergartens on the outside neither on the inside it's like normally it looks more like a hospital than a kindergarten so uh, we came in contact with this uh, real estate owner that uh, owns uh, quite a few of uh, real estates in the same area and in one of the his uh, buildings there's a kindergarten and the, and the and it's an old industrial area so um, it looks like a like a warehouse from the outside but it's a kindergarten on the inside so uh, i came up with the idea uh, that we could repaint the outside of the building with the guest teacher because we get a guest teacher system that we can invite artists to uh, teach our uh, students different techniques. So we had these uh, guests from uh, Chile that uh, are from the um, traditional Chilean mural school where they only paint with brushes. So we did a, a, a nice mural on the, on the, uh, on the kindergarten with, with this uh, guest teacher and the students. And the kids gave us like reference uh, sketches of uh, of what they wanted to do, so uh, we included their sketches also in the in the in the in the mural, so they also could relate to the mural and see a connection between them and the mural, and uh, I hope like this kind of project is gonna be more common in Sweden because I think it's a uh, quite important that the kids feel that their space actually are their space, not the the grown up space. And also included more more colors and more imagination to make people have more more colors in in their life. It's like an easy way for me to to contribute to the society with colors. I think they are not quite used to the way that we work. They because we we work in the project meaning and where we want the students to take responsibility, not be given responsibility. Because it's when, when, when you're going to paint a wall or do an art, art uh, project, it's important that everyone participate. And uh, normally our students don't have uh, like that kind of uh, experiences where they actually create the project and do the project. So they often are like we we often need to give them orders to do stuff, and that I th- I think could be a, like a, a, a small conflict because we try to teach the the students take take responsibility, come up with ideas, and produce, not wait for anyone to produce for you because because the street art and graffiti is about you taking uh, responsibility for what you want to do, not waiting for the other person to give you like permissions and stuff like that, because you need to do, do all the movement to create 
the mural. And that I, I think could be like a small uh, conflict with the, with the students. I remember coming up to the up the stairs and just seeing not the most like common school. It was so much more beautiful in a way. It was so more free, like uh, yeah, inspiring. Uh, the first year it was a very chaotic year actually, but still after that it still made me do like festivals, like hip hop festivals, even if I didn't think that at the time when I was there. It just came to me and it became a part of me and that's what I'm doing now. So it's really inspired me and this year I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like these five years that's gonna come, there's gonna be so exciting because like one year it's been really eight and the five years period inspired me to do so much things. So now I went one more year it's been really eight and I don't even I don't even know how to express how much will come in a way, you know? Because I've learned so much in that time period. So this time period is gonna be so exciting. Every year I've been doing these festivals, this will be the fourth year we're going to do it. And also we're going to do a whole new house painted. So when it's finished painting, we're going to have like a little festival. Whatever floats our boat is the festival's name, so it's going to be whatever floats our boat this year. And it's been that the all, all the other years also. It's about what we can manage to do in who we are and so much happiness we can bring out. With music, hip-hop, graffiti, anything, yeah. One of the biggest challenges now is creating a good group culture with the students. So the students feel more like a team and working together and not against each other. And try to... Because the, the dy dynamic in the groups are really important. So everyone gets together and takes responsibility for the group and for the work of the group. And after that I think like the next step is going to be getting more contacts, getting more commissions and uh, make, make, uh, make the owners of the real estates pay all the materials and I hope soon they're gonna also want to be uh, pay like some kind of salary to the students because I, I, we need the, the students to uh, valorize the, their work also because it's really easy for like real estate owners and different people here in Sweden that's gonna be our future uh, clients that they think like, oh graffiti is for free because everyone paints graffiti for free, I illegally so they think it's like a low cost uh, artwork mm. and that's uh, one challenge that we got now so we need to like make the public understand that graffiti is not for free but it's for, for everyone and someone needs to pay it. So we need to find the ways to get the finance together. But, but I think like the school is gonna be one of the elements that gonna be opening up graffiti in Sweden.